So hello YouTubers. My journey will begin from here in Jiaoqing. Bye bye. Take care. And I will catch a train from here to Shenzhen North. Jiaoqing East, making my way to Shenzhen. So I'm stuck at Shenzhen and this wonderful woman is a lady girl is helping me. She speaks good English. From there I will catch a metro. And then another metro. Metro line two. Metro and another metro. I have to change twice. Yeah, it's actually quite noisy. I'm really surprised. And I will go to the port. Yeah. Huh? You should have to here. This guy thinks I want a train, but I just got off the train. But anyway, my point is the distance is about from Uxbridge to Waterloo, and this cost me seven RMB. Seven e uh, Seven Seven yuan. And now he's trying to give me seven. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's a good price. So I'm back out the metro and um, on the street in Shenzhen, and I need bus. B601 to get me to the ferry port. Shenzhen has a port where you can catch a boat all the way to Hong Kong Airport. Uh, well, I'm on the boat now. I'm on the ferry to Hong Kong Airport. I'm now out, officially out of mainland China. You have to book that boat ticket in advance. You have to um, upload your flight details. I wonder if these two people will be sat next to me. They are good examples. I feel safe next to them. <laughs> uh, sorry, local, local time now is just coming up to uh, 5 a.m. It's uh, 4.57. is actually very good driving. Mm, that is good driving. Right, so that's me done. I've completed my journey all the way from Jiaoqing down to Shenzhen and uh, then to Shirko, SeaWorld, then a ferry to Hong Kong Airport and from there to Heathrow, uh, London, and from London to here. This is where my mother lives, and I'll be staying here for the next eight days in isolation. Actually, she's away for another five days, so I'll get a good rest. Thank you for watching, and the next video is all about, I don't know what. Oh, here's some photos of the guy who drove the National Express coach from Heathrow Airport to Southampton and then on to Fareham where he changed his shift. Really nice guy and he said he likes watching YouTube. I hope he subscribes to my channel. If you do, Mr. Montague, uh, give us a thumbs up, write something. Good to see you and maybe I'll catch up and we can have that drink um, in a few days time. Well, I arrived in the UK um, about eight hours ago, I've had a rest, unpacked my stuff, and I'm just doing my first meal. So I'm doing what we call in the UK, new potatoes. Yeah, um, miniature new potatoes, there we go. Yeah, um, and broccoli. I love broccoli, even in China. Um, I, I eat broccoli about five times a week. So I've done myself some broccoli and new potatoes. Let me just strain the water off. There's quite a bit, there's quite a lot here for one person, but it is my first meal since I've returned. 
So the last meal I had was on an aeroplane, and you know what that, that food is like. Nice, but not much of it. Nice. Yeah, I can say nice. Sometimes it is quite nice. Anyway, so um, there we go. <laughs> a lot of broccoli with a... Uh... <laughs> that is a lot, I suppose, but I like it. And tin salmon. Tin salmon, mash it up, a little bit of ketchup and a little bit of um, vinegar. And that goes lovely. And that will serve four people. And I'm having all tuna, new potatoes, broccoli. Away I go, eh? Let's taste it. I'll give, uh, I'll give you marks out of 10. 10 for the potato. Sorry, it's not tuna, salmon. I'm gonna give the salmon a 10 also. Let's try the broccoli. Yeah. I'm gonna give the broccoli a 10. So, how many is that? 10, 10, and 10. That's top marks. I'm very happy with my cooking today. After that long flight and that terrible journey uh, and a wonderful meal to eat on my first day um, in the UK. I actually haven't seen anyone yet, no members of my family. My kids are up north in Newcastle. My mother's gone away with her boyfriend. Uh, yes, she has a boyfriend. And so I've come home, uh, come here to my mother's home um, and I've got about three days to myself, which is actually quite perfect, to be honest. I can eat what I like and I don't have to worry too much. And she's a bit of a nagger, you know. What are you doing? Turn the tap off, you're wasting the water. Oh, don't do it, you know. So it's quite nice to be uh, alone for the first few days. And um, yeah, that's it. What a wonderful meal. I'm looking forward to finishing this off. And I'm watching something on the uh, laptop at the moment. And I'm giving myself, um, well, I'm giving some opinions of something I'm watching. You won't be able to see it, but it's really quite interesting. There's this guy. And it's people back in the UK that say to me, oh, well, how, you can't speak, how'd you get on? And, uh, uh, you know, it's uh, me. Uh, now, going back to the first part when I started, this is... I'm actually just reading the comments on Lee's channel, Lee Barrett's channel, uh, of what people wrote about um, myself and Lee. Some people didn't quite get the point that I was trying to say. Maybe that was my fault and I didn't get the point across properly. So I will take full responsibility for what I said. And um, hope that um, in the future I'll, I'll, get it, I'll get it right. Or make it more clear so you can understand. Anyway, I'm gonna close the video here and uh, if you like the journey, what I've shown you about the, the coach uh, in the UK and a little bit about the flight and even the struggles that I had in Shenzhen, then please give me a thumbs up and uh, write a comment. I'd love to hear your comments, uh, good or bad. And I hope I will get another video put up very soon. Uh, the next few videos will be about the UK and then I will probably show a lot of videos about what some of the things I got up to in China but that I just haven't got around to putting up there on YouTube. Other than that, thank you very much. And um, yeah, and give Lee Barrett a, 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 some good wishes because we all know now that he's going through a, quite a rough time we all wish him the very best. Um, yeah, and hope the medication that he's taking, the chemo that he's on, uh, won't drain him too much of energy. At the moment, I mean, we're, we're in contact several times a day. At the moment, he's, he's doing extremely well. He's got lots of strength. Uh, he's not vomiting as much as he expected or, or what he was told he may, but you know, that 
is going to happen sooner or later. Um, and I just hope he stays well and stays healthy. On that note, let me say goodbye. Let me have my dinner and we'll chat soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.